Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. In the sixth video in the series on two-dimensional collisions, in the last video, video five, we looked at calculating where the center of mass is of a system using the ratio method. I'm now going to do using the formula method, which is far more useful if you have uh, numbers which are a bit harder to do calculations of ratios with, or if um, you want to compare your center of mass to some arbitrary starting point. Um, now it turns out if you're good enough with maths you'll end up seeing that these methods are actually equivalent. The formula is exactly the same as the ratio method, that's why you get the same answers. Okay, the first thing you need to do though when you go to use the formula is you need to establish a coordinate system. This is so important and coordinate systems uh, pop up again and again in mechanics. All the way through level, through level 2 they've popped up and all the way through level three, they pop up um, here. Um, they'll certainly pop up in uh, simple harmonic motion waves uh, as well. So a coordinate system's easy. You just choose a origin, which is what you want to call the zero mark, um, and then a positive direction. So in this case, I'm calling the origin at the two kg ball. That's just where I want to start my measurements from, and the positive directions towards the one kg ball. So I like to draw that on my diagram so I don't get confused. Um, it makes sense, and I'll show you in the next slide, it makes it a lot easier if you choose one of your objects to be the origin, but you don't need to. Okay, so the formula you get given in your formula sheet, x, com, center of mass, so that's position of the center of mass, is given by x1, one of the objects, times its mass, times x being position of the um, second object times its mass over the sum of the masses. So putting the numbers into this case, uh, we get the 2 kg object's at the origin, so its position is 0 times 2 kg. The other one's 6 meters and positive 6 meters away from the origin, so it's plus 6 times 1 kg, and the sum of the objects is 2 plus 1. Simplify that down, and so you'll see now, because um, one of my objects is at the origin, I've got a 0 times something, it just makes the calculation a little bit easier. So 6 over 3 equals 2 meters, and that's where we found this exact same center mass using the ratio method. So I just want to quickly show you what would happen if you chose a new coordinate system. They said, hey, look, do all your calculations from, let's say, the middle, between the two balls. So three meters from either ball. So I draw my coordinate system on. I always have to draw a origin on, and I always have to choose a positive direction. I've chosen positive to be towards the one kg ball. So that means the two kg ball is sitting in the negative direction. And that's really important, because if you don't add the negative in when choosing the centrum, um, when choosing sorry, the origin to be in the middle, <coughs> your calculations are going to be really off. So when I go to put all my numbers in the formula here, you'll see I have, for the 2 kg ball, negative 3 meters, because it's in the negative direction, it's negative 3 meters from the origin, times 2 kg. The, the pink ball, or the red ball, is um, in the positive direction, so it's plus 3, kg, uh, 3 meters. And again, it's divided by the sum. When you simplify that down, um, you get negative 6 plus 3 on the top of the fraction, which gives you negative 3. And your overall answer of where the center of mass is, is negative 1 meters. What does that mean? Well, it means it's negative 1 from where you've chosen your origin. Now, you chose your origin in the middle, so negative 1 is, is to the left, which is in the middle being at 3 meters, and 1 meter closer to the 2 kg ball is still 2 meters from the 2 kg ball. So you get exactly the same answer using a different coordinate system. If you are choosing the origin to be anywhere other than one of the or the other of the of the objects, make sure you put your coordinate system on there and get your positives and your negatives right. Okay, a common mistake is for people to set up the coordinate system like I have and put positive three meters for both balls, which would have given you a um, a different center of mass.